Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation x to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 144. So, to solve this, what I'm first going to do is take the power of 6 on both sides. So I get x to the power of x to the power of 6 to the power of 6 is equal to 144 to the power of 6. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. And m and n, I can switch these two. So this is equal to a to the power of n times n. Now, if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times m, this should equal a to the power of n to the power of m, meaning a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So now that we know this, we can think of x to the power of 6 as m and 6 as n, and using this property, I'm going to switch these two places. So now I have x to the power of 6 to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 144 to the power of 6. So now from here, 144 is the same thing as 12 squared. So I get x to the power of 6 to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 12 squared to the power of 6. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 12 to the power of 2 to the power of 6 is going to equal 12 to the power of 2 times 6, which is 12 to the power of 12. And now, my final step is that if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a equals b. So in this case, x to the power of 6 is equal to 12. So now, we want to get rid of this power of 6, so I'm going to take the sixth root on both sides. So I get the 6th root of x to the power of 6 is equal to the 6th root of 12. Now the 6th root of x to the power of 6 is simply just x. So I get x is equal to the 6th root of 12, which is the same thing as 12 to the power of 1 over 6. So either of these two work. So this is my answer to this problem.